Today I will introduce the mixer settler. It is a liquid liquid solvent extraction equipment. Its main structure includes mixing chamber and settling chamber. Mixing chamber with motor, motor with mixing impeller. There is a flow baffle between the settling chamber and the mixing chamber. After the water level exceeds the overflow plate of the mixing chamber, it will flow into the settling chamber, then separated by natural gravity. There is a partition between the outlet and the settling chamber. There is a row of small holes on the top of this partitio. This is the light phase outlet. The row of small holes at the bottom with the heavy phase regulating tube is the heavy phase outlet. The heavy phase regulating tube is used to adjust the light and heavy phase interface of settling chamber to ensure that the ratio of the light and heavy phases is basically one to one. This ensures that there will be no entrainment in discharge. Next, let's talk about the installation precautions. The most important thing when installing is the outlet locatio. Whether it is a light or heavy phase outlet, its collection container position must be lower than its outlet. If we have an outlet pipe, the outlet pipe must not change diameter, must not rise, and must not be too long, which will cause the material to be discharged unsmoothly. If the material is not discharged smoothly, it may cause backflow. Long time will lead to abnormal phase separation, material accumulation, and even overflow. Next, let's take a look at its supporting equipment. This is the speed regulator, which is used to control the speed of the mixing impeller. If field and mixing intensity is not enough, or the emulsification is serious, you can increase or decrease the speed. Generally, we can set it to 500 revolutions per minute when idling. The green one is the switch. After we jog and idle, check the direction of rotation of the motor. Rotating direction is clockwise. Look at these two buttons. They are used to adjust the speed. After we have observed the correct rotating direction, turn it off. Next, Start feeding, except for the first stage, which is fed by external conditions. The remaining intermediate stages are all drawn in by the suction force generated by the mixing impeller. Therefore, we must start the machine before feeding to ensure that the feed liquid can flow smoothly to the next stage. This controller can be turned on step by step to feed the liquid. The position is the heavy phase inlet. The other side is the light phase inlet because our mixer settler is used in different scenarios, so you can choose the feeding equipment yourself. Generally, we use peristaltic pump to feed in laboratory. You can start feeding according to the ratio set by your own process flow. After feeding, wait for the heavy phase outlet of the last stage to discharge. The light phase begins to enter. After the light phase is feeding, observe the light heavy interface in the settling chamber from the first stage of the light phase. Then adjust the heavy phase regulator tube and try to keep the ratio at 1 to 1. If the heavy phase liquid level is too high, we can rotate the regulating tube downward appropriately. If the liquid level is too low, we can rotate the regulating tube upward appropriately. Be careful not to use too much force. Then follow this method. Adjust level of each stage and tour. After all, the heavy phase regulating tubes are adjusted. We observe that the light and heavy phases outlet begin to discharge after the operation has stabilized for a period of time. We take samples for testing and test the extraction efficiency. This is the complete mixer settler operation video.